so I've shown you that church is a bad word that they put into the Bible using the Cyclopedia of Biblical, Theological, and Ecclesiastical Literature by McClintock and Strong, Volume 3, E through G, and it is on page 217, and it says, um, these are the 15 instructions that King James gave to so he could stay in charge. It says that the king might take his place as director of the whole. A copy of 15 instruction, instructions was sent to each translator and apparently circulated freely in both universities. And right here it says the old ecclesiastical words. That's the main phrase you need to remember because it's not ecclesiastical. It's um, what they had made up. The world system of kings and priests had made up were to be kept, and the word church not to be translated congregation. The rule was apparently given for the sake of this special application. So this special application here, church not being translated congregation, is the special application it is saying, because it wanted to make sure that the church stayed in power because the king's power rested on the the fact of making sure that the bishops were retained and the bishops have nothing to do with the Bible, which we're going to show. And, um, well, I'm going to give you a little head start here so you can see the verses for yourselves to look up. So this is the place where office is mentioned. So the office of, um, it doesn't say I magnify my office. Paul didn't say that. It doesn't say have not the same office. It doesn't say that. Um, in a man desired the, the office of a bishop, it doesn't say that. The office of a deacon doesn't say that. Office of a deacon doesn't say that. It doesn't even say the office of the priesthood here. So we're going to prove that. And you can see the verses over here. And you can see the Strong's number over here. They even um, didn't put not in the text like it usually does, even though it's not in the text. It says not in here for words that are usually not in there. But right here, they actually kept the words to show that they're actually still trying to retain the lie, even in this. So what we go to is we go to the book, the interlinear Bible. This has the original language in it. And this one is coded to Strong's. So coded with Strong's concordance numbers. And it's coded with that in there. But we're going to show that those words aren't even in the text. So um, <clears throat> so right here in um, Romans chapter 11, verse 13, it says, right here it shows you, I am an apostle of nations. I glorify my slavery. Ministry means a slave or a servant. So right here we see it's not in there. An apostle, the ministry of me, I glorify. Diakonion, it means a servant. Office isn't anywhere in there. That's part of that lie that I just showed you from the edicts of King James. The old ecclesiastical words, which isn't ecclesiastical because ecclesia is the called out of God. So it has nothing to do with that. So right here in 12.4 it says... Um, but all members do not have the same function. So, if we look here, same have, they translated praxin over their office, but it says function. It's not, it has nothing to do with the office. That's part of the lie to keep people um, at bay. The masses um, controlled underneath the tyrants and the priestcraft. So, um, right here in um, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Anyone reaches out to overseership. And we look here, office, where's office? Where's that word office? Oh, it's not in there. If any man, if anyone overseership aspires to. Nothing to do with the office. Office isn't there. Um, and then again in 310, um, where they translated office of a deacon. Hey, it's not even there. Then let them slave, serve, slave, serve. Either one of those um, are better than what they put there. And um, so, and then again in verse 13, Diakonesontes, 
having served, slaved. Minister is even still a bad translation because it means a slave or a servant. So, um, nothing to do. It doesn't have office there. Hmm. Why they put that there? Oh, because they want to control people. Oh, yeah, he translated it served here for those having served well. Up in verse 11. Likewise, their wives are reverent, um, faithful in all things. Let deacons be husbands. But it says, like, servants. We're serving God's word. Bishops to God's word. Up here, there's no office of a bishop. Those aren't even, that's not accurate. That's not true. Even the priesthood here. It doesn't say the office of the priesthood. That was put in there serotypishly. It was serotypishly foisted. That means that they modified the text to suit what they were going for. So um, this also applies to the words um, bishop. So if we look up bishop, um, the reason they kept that old Latin term is because they're trying to Control people. Right here, um, church. All of the church isn't the accurate word. E ecclesia means called out. It's called out across the board, for the as far as I know. Um, and it never means church. Never means church. Deacon. Deacon means a slave. A slave. There was no hierarchy in the early church. Minister. Minister means a slave. So, minister, let's see. Ministry, min ministration, ministers, ministering, ministereth, ministered. Minister, it means slave. Doesn't mean some kind of glorified title. So, alright, back at office. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and we'll do more later. Thanks for watching. Bye.